Today we're going to talk about horizontal and vertical lines. So we're going to learn what they are. I'm going to give you little hints to help you remember them, how we graph them, and how to write the equation of the horizontal and vertical lines. So whenever I think of horizontal lines, I think of one of my half B places. The other one's Beaver Stadium, Happy Valley, but the other is the beach. And when we are talking about the beach, this is the horizon line. You look off and you see the horizon line and it's kind of where the sky meets the beach or the sky meets the ocean. So that is one big horizontal line, right? And that's how I used to remember it when I could never remember it, um, is I would look out at the horizon and you would see that straight line straight across. So horizontal lines are lines that are gonna just be straight across. So if I'm going to graph a horizontal line through the point negative two, three, I'm gonna find the point negative two, three. And remember that this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis. And when I graph, this is my x-coordinate and this is my y. Okay. So if I'm gonna graph the horizontal line through that point, it's just going to be a straight line that I'm a little bit off on. So it's going to be a straight line right through that point. And then we're asked to write the equation of that line. What I want you to notice that this is the point negative two, three. This is the point negative five, three. This is the point five, three. We could go seven, three. And we could even go 9, 3. So what you should notice is all of the y values that lie on the line, so the y coordinates of all the points on this line are all the same. They're all 3. So when I write the equation of any horizontal line, it's going to be y equals whatever the y coordinate is in the points that it goes through. So in this case, it's y equals three. So now let's graph a horizontal line through the point four, negative five. So I'm going to go to four and then down to negative five. And I'm just going to draw my horizontal line straight across through that point. Okay, so here is my point four negative five. Again, all of my points on this line have a y coordinate of negative five. Okay, so the equation of the line is y equals the y coordinates, which are negative five. So that's all there is to know for now about horizontal lines. We'll learn a little bit more about them in the next section. Okay. Vertical lines are like these, I guess they're straws or noodles or whatever you want to think they are. Um, but our vertical lines are lines that go straight up and down. Okay. Right. So if I'm going to graph a vertical line through the point four, negative five. I'm going to draw a straight up and down line because that's what a vertical line is through that point for negative five. Now what you should notice now when you look at points on the line that no matter what point I pick on that line my x values are always the same, okay? My x values don't change. In this case, they're always four. So this is going to be x 
equals the x coordinate of my point. So x equals 4. All of these have the same x value, so the equation of the line is x equals 4. Okay. If I want to graph a vertical line through the point 6, 3, if I graph 6, 3, vertical is straight up and down. Okay. And when you graph lines, it would be awesome if you had arrows on the end of them because lines go on forever and ever and ever. So let's look at this point. This point is 6, 0. This point is 6, negative 2. This point is 6, 5. So look at my points, the coordinates, 6, 6, 6, 6. This is the x values, okay? So all of my x values are the same. So the equation of the line is x equals 6. So if I want to graph these lines, so I'm going to graph x equals negative 5, that means all x values are the same. I'm sorry, negative 4, I can't read. So all x values are the same. Okay, so that means that this is, if all my x values are the same, this is a vertical line. So x equals negative 4 is just this line right through here. So I'm really just looking at um, the x-axis. And here is my point on the x-axis of negative 4. And then I'm just going to draw a straight up and down line. y equals 2, all of my y values are two in this case. And this makes this a horizontal line. So I'm gonna go to the y-axis, find two, and then just draw a line right through there. Okay. So that's all there is to graphing a horizontal or vertical line. You need to stop and think and you need to recognize which one is vertical, x equals, which one is horizontal, y equals. So what should you take away from this lesson today? Horizontal lines are lines that just go across. I guess that's the best way you can describe it. And their equation is always y equals the y coordinate of the ordered pair. So if I use this ordered pair, it's going to be, here's my y coordinate, y equals 8. Okay. Vertical lines are straight up and down. The equation of a horizontal line is always x equals the x coordinate of the ordered pair. So in this case, x equals negative 10. Okay. So you should know how to graph a horizontal line from both the, the coordinate and from uh, an equation. You should know how to graph a vertical line from the coordinate and the equation. And you should know how to write the equations of horizontal and vertical lines. If you have any questions, jot them down, and I'll be happy to go over them in class. Have a math-tastic day.